something about Friedrich Nietzsche, the German philosopher. Sure, Freddy, yeah. <laughs> yes. Nietzsche said that punishment often increases the feelings of estrangement and strengthens the power of resistance. I think what influenced me more was Fisk. Well, I didn't know you were a fan of John Fisk, the English historian. I'm not. I'm talking about Carlton Fisk, the White Sox catcher. <laughs> he said, if you get caught stealing, throw him out. <laughs> Hey guys, where's Mark? I don't know. You're supposed to meet at the bus stop, but he never showed up. What are you talking about? I told him to come straight home after school. Dad, the kid's a convicted hardware criminal. <laughs> They're unpredictable. Come on, guys, let's make some calls and find your brother. Come on, come on. Right. Yeah, Pete's pets. Hi, right. this is Tim Taylor. Now go. Thank you. Hearing's fine now. Okay. Yeah. We all love Al. That's great. I've got a kind of a serious issue here. I'm, I'm looking for my son. Yeah, we bought a hamster a little while ago. I'm looking. How big is he? About the size of my hand, a little tail on there. Oh, oh Mark. Yeah. Uh, about 4'10", shaggy, blonde hair, no tail. <laughs> Isn't been by there at all, huh? Okay, but if you'd stop by, you'd have him call me, please. Thank you. Goodbye. Where's Mark? He didn't come home from school. But there's no reason to be concerned. Oh, my God. Are you saying he went away? We don't know that. We know he's at school or any of his friends at the police, the hospital, or the pet store. Well, then where is he? Hello? Yes. Oh, thank God. He's okay. Really? Okay, uh, we'll be there as soon as we can. Bye-bye. Well, well. Well, he went to the hardware store to apologize for taking the knife. Well, that's great. That's my boy there. Your boy doesn't want to leave the hardware store. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to leave the hardware store because he's afraid of you. So, even though it was only one cookie that I stole, <laughs> the point is, I too succumb to temptation. You understand, Mark? I think so, but what's an appetite suppressant? <laughs> uh, something his mother obviously never found. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hey, Mark. Hi, Mom. <sighs> Listen, uh, we'll, we'll just be in the back. If, if a customer comes in, give us a call. Come on. Thanks, Mark. Hey, uh, Mark, let me talk to you. I'm not going to yell at you. I'm not going to yell at you. I, I'm really sorry I went nuts today. But what you did really upset me. You must really hate me. Come on, Mark. You know, I really, really love you, all right? It's just, it's just certain things really, really set me off. Excuse me. Do you have any mops? Can you see I'm talking to my kid here? Uh, could you just give us a few minutes to go get some coffee or something? Is there a coffee place in the area? Well, I look like Juan Valdez here. She called me. Did she beat? <laughs> here, uh, just take this. Brothers uh, lie or cheat or steal like this, it, it makes your mom and I feel like we're not doing our jobs right. And part of our job is to make you see the difference between right and wrong. You know it's wrong to steal. Then why did you take the knife? I don't know. I have a knife right in my hand and think I'm cool. I'm really sorry I did it. We know you're just. I'm sure. That took a lot of guts, huh? Which is why I spoke to the governor and we needed a sentence of two weeks. <laughs> Unfortunately, we found that you haven't paid your state income tax for the last 11 years. Dad, only 10. Hey, it's a government for you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Uh, oh, well, uh, okay. <laughs> What's the matter, Al? Someone stole my mom. <laughs>
That's my recipe for tuna wine bean casserole. <laughs> Why would they hide that? To me, I would have burned it. <laughs> <laughs> Where else am I they guy in here? Huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Putting your underwear away. <laughs> In the desk drawer? Yeah. <laughs> it's something my mother taught me. <laughs> this way, if you're doing your homework and you realize that you're not wearing any underwear, <laughs> then you don't have to walk all the way to the dresser drawer. <laughs> Come on. I can't believe you guys. What a little blue thing. <laughs>